All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event. Are you ready? It's time to ignite. Our main event is brought to you by Compass Arena. And over here, introducing first to my left in the blue corner with a record of five wins and one setback. Standing at five feet, 10 inches, weighing in at 159 pounds. Representing Thunder Valley and Leading Edge from Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. Kelton, the Conqueror, Snee! And his opponent out of the red corner with a record of five wins and three defeats. Standing in at five foot nine inches, tipping the scales at 161 pounds. Representing Carlson Gracie MMA. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Trevon, the last Shinobi, Lawson. And your referee for the action is Nick Sim. Kelton the Conqueror, Sneeve in the black and gold. Trevon, the last Shinobi, Lawson in the black and white. And our main event is underway. Nick Sim, the third man in the cage. Right away, I see a lot of fainting going on with Kelton Sneeve's hips. It's almost like a Loyola Cheetah uh, Machida style, where he's faking those kicks, faking those kicks. We're going to see what he does. Well, I know he has good kicks from what I've seen before. He do, yeah, he does look like he's coming from a karate type background. He's very bouncy on his feet, in and out, switching yeah. stances. Trevon just waiting for his opportunity. Ooh, nice. It's a head kick. Yeah. Corner of Trey Lawson calling for a lead straight right down the middle with that right hand that they're calling for. He wisely circles away from the power side. Yeah, definitely a feeling out process so far. Not wise to rush in on either of the two right now, especially in a five round fight. Nice right hand by Trey Lawson though. That sent an early message. Steve misses the overhand right. Right See, this, this is where Trey Lawson's better off is in the pocket boxing. If I were Kelton Sneeve, I would step away a little bit and go back to his kicks. Yeah, Trevon definitely looks like he's got the reach advantage. He uses it well. Getting on the inside now. See, that's where he needs to keep him. When he gets him, backs him up against the fence, he needs to work there a little bit. You see a lot of young fighters let them off the cage once they get in there. Nice right hand. See, what I'm noticing by Trey Lawson is he's countering the kicks with punches of his own every single time when Kelton Steve throws a kick, when he drops that arm down for the momentum, He's opening up a little bit to get tagged. And Trey's recognizing that. And that's exactly what his corner's calling for, straight right down the middle. Whenever those kicks happen, he's opening up a little bit. If he just closes the gap a little more, he'll take the distance away for the kicks. So it's Neve having the stronger kicking game is wise for Trevon to really make him pay for each one of those kicks, really make him reconsider throwing them. That round was ending. Trevon was really starting to get the timing down, the distance down. 
with his hands. Yeah, it, it took him a little bit in the beginning of the first round, but he made some adjustments halfway through and had a lot of success at the end. Really the whole second half of the round. Looks like Sneed's corner is telling him to start mixing in his hands after those picks. Yeah, they're calling it for that right hand down the middle each time. And Jeff Neal just kind of did like a motion where he's stepping in with that cross. And you could tell that's going to close the distance whenever Sneed is throwing that kick. Great way to counter those. Nice job by Kelton Sneeve. Let's see what his ground game looks like. Don't forget, I'm in. Oh. Standing up. Standing up. Standing up. Good job from Trevon stepping away from that spinning attack. Keep that pressure on him. Don't let him get comfortable. No confidence. Stay pressure. Get hands up. Good block. And Kelton Sneeve initiates the clinch. I think he must have liked what he felt when he was on the ground and wants to go back down there. And there he goes. He's fainting a little bit, which is doing a good job. Fainting with those hips. Keeping Trey guessing when those kicks are going to happen. Sneed able to slide out of the way of that overhand. There you go. Trey with the takedown of his own. Nicely set up. Sneed back to his feet. But Trevon's immediately on a leg. He's going to have to protect that neck. Getting a guillotine in. Trevon's doing a good job fighting the hands. Nice teeth. Well timed. See, that's why Trevon needs to close the gap just a little bit more. Right now, he's in kicking distance. If he. If he uses a little bit of head movement, a little bit of footwork, gets on the inside, he'll take that away from, from Sneed. Well, just misses on that right hand. With the way Sneed's holding his lead hand, that right hand is there. Yeah, I noticed both of, both of his arms are going down on these kicks. And right there, Trey lands that right on the counter. He's finding a lot of success that every single time Sneed kicks, he throws those punches, he's landing. And again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Keep that heat on him. Keep that pressure. Good adjustments by both fighters in that round. Good round of action. Speaking of 150, I think I misspoke earlier. I think he went up in weight. Got that backwards. I think Trevon's got the significant advantage in punching power. Yeah, I mean, so far, a lot of this has been puncher versus kicker. And seemingly even on the ground. Mm, that one looked like it landed on the knee. Nice single leg by Trevon. Set it up nicely with those punches. Switches across, got the hand locked on the double. Sneeve's doing a good job of fighting it off here. Yeah, it looks like he's attempting a guillotine again. I can't really see the grip from where I'm at. Let's it go. I see his right hand being pushed off against the fence. 
Good takedown defense so far by Sneeve. Really, really good takedown defense. Kelly able to circle off the cage. Now Sneeve's pinned up against it at the over under. Oh, nice. Nice drop to a yeah. single leg there. Good level change. Oh, he's he's got to watch his neck here. Yep. Great job by Steve. That's twice now he's threatened with the guillotine to break that clinch. Yeah, I mean, Trey has to make an important decision. And he, he realistically did the right thing, abandoned the takedown to protect his neck. Live to see another day. And he's got try to take down again. Got Sneef circling, circling to his left. He land that right hand there. Neve leading from his nose. Yeah, Trey is controlling the center of this cage here, which is definitely what he needs to do. Turn that cross, turn that cross. And after those take on attempts, the kicking output from Sneeve is seriously declined. Oh, on cue. Nice switch kick. Blocked well, though. Good head movement by Trevon. I'd like to see him use that a little more to get on the inside. And some level changes. Sneev has already seen him go in for a few shots. He could kind of use that to set up his boxing now. And back to the feet right at the end of the bell. to the championship rounds we go. Both guys looking to box a little more in this opening round. See, there you go. Now Trevon's doing a good job of, of changing levels, making him guess, closing the gap, getting on the inside. Use that jab, use that jab, keep jabbing him. Yeah, Trace Corner's calling for that jab. Chop that leg. Right there, I want that chop on that leg. I like how he's keeping his hand up when he's pumping the jab, too. Keep pumping that jab, find the range, look at the short distance. There it is, there it is. Nice, nice right shot. Hand. Yeah, Steve's going to have to come up with some answers. Now Trevon is getting a lot more confidence with his hands. He's a watch dipping that head after his jabs, though. Oh, nice, nice. takedown. Perfect timing. He's gonna have to keep sucking those legs in. He's got to be yeah, up there, as I say, he's he addressed that problem of Lawson posting with his hand and pulled it right out of the way. And Sneeve is shelving the leg of uh, 
Trevon Lawson here, making it hard for him to get back up. That was good game planning by Snee. This is exactly what he needs because he really wasn't coming up with a ton of answers anymore on the feet. He could keep him down, hold him here. Oh, Trevon back up to his feet. He's got the hands broken now. Digging an underhook. Oh, back down to the mat. Good job by Sneed. I don't think he expected that he would, he'd be the one going for all these takedowns. That's a great adjustment in game plan. And having to keep getting back up and fighting those grips is going to take away some of that boxing sting from the punches that Trevon Lawson. And Steve under the neck there. Oh, he's setting up a rear naked choke. That's in tight. That's in. It is. It's right on the chin. Right on oh, the bell. Saved by, by the, by the bell. Oh, man. <laughs> man. But I think Steve just discovered what he really needs to do this next round. I mean, it has been close. That first round was up in the air, too. Nice right hand right off the bat by Sneeve. And Sneeve gained a lot of confidence out of that last round, and we're seeing it right now. Now this would be a good opportunity for Kelton Sneeve to take it back down to the ground. Good head positioning by Sneeve. Sneeve going right back to the trip. Good timing on that shot by Sneeve. Another takedown for Sneeve. That's exactly what he needs. But he just needs to make something happen now. Yeah, we don't know if he needs a finisher now. He's got to go for broke. Trap it up. Set a trap. Got to set a trap from there. Don't let him get that arm triangle. Hand on your ear. Create space. Choke your mouth, Trey. Choke your mouth. Choke your mouth, Trey. Pass the half guard. He's got a minute 15, he's got to keep going. If Trevon lets him finish the round on top here, it's going to be a close fight. Oh, oh and he, he's, oh, he almost takes said that. back again. Yeah. He's almost got a body triangle in there. That's good timing by Sneeve. Not quite under the chin there. Yeah, Trey's going to need to keep that chin down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Yeah, He's got to keep that chin down and hand fight. 30 seconds. Not a lot of time, even with the lock on the bottom, for Trevon to escape this. Uh-oh, and I was under the chin. Oh, there. that's tight. That, that's underneath the chin. That's that far under underneath the chin. the chin. He's trying to pry that oh. hand off. He does, chin but down, down. only for now. I think the MMA gloves are in the way a little bit. Pull it down, pull it down. And Trey Lawson survives another fight that's going to be hard to score. The judges are having to earn their pay tonight, that's for sure. 
Yeah, they did. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance. The scores are in. Judge number one has it 48-47 for Lawson. A split decision. Judge number two has it 49-46 Sneeze. And judge number three has it 48-47 your winner by split decision, yes, Kelton the Conqueror, Steve! <laughs> Guys, give a big, big round of applause for both of these warriors and your winner, Kelton Steve. My man, Kelton, hard fought, well earned, you did it, you called your shot. What do you got to say, my man? I'm not surprised, people. This is my cage. Last fight was a fluke. No disrespect to Antoine, but he caught me on my worst night. No one ever has beat me in this cage. I'll fight till the end. No issues. And for those judges, 48-47 loss, and I don't know what fight you're scoring. Chicago's got some good bias, I guess. Guys, Kelton, right on, my man. You trained hard, you traveled all in, to, you came in from uh, from Canada, you're here. What are you planning on doing time, no now that the fight is over and you got the belt? You know what, I gotta go to the drawing board with the team. Um, as much as I was a dog fight, respect the train, but I gotta improve. And last things last, I gotta shout out all the sponsors, guys. You guys helped me get here, and I wouldn't be able to do this shit without you, so I appreciate all of you guys. I will be back home with Thunder Bay tomorrow. Let's party! Guys, give it up for your winner, Kelton the Conqueror Sneeze!